house here in Palm Springs. It's me and Gabby right now. Sab is gonna meet us later and our friends. We picked up our wristbands. I'm gonna give you guys a quick house tour. Quick house tour. This is the living room area and then there's a velvet green couch. So I basically feel like I'm at home because as you guys know I have a velvet green couch at my house. I love this color. It's so beautiful and then we have a fireplace over here with crystals There's crystals all around the house and that makes me feel really good. Also look at this buffet area. It is beyond I love all the funky wallpaper and the colors Everything is really bright and colorful which makes me happy then here we have the kitchen and over on that side There's a bedroom. This is our current tequila station. We got some groceries also We got a bunch of things just to prep for Coachella and here is Sabrina's room, which is all bright and yellow. It's very cute. There's a bathroom over there. Then, let me show you guys the backyard. Here's the backyard. Gabby's standing over there. Say hi! And it's so beautiful. There's more backyard that way, but I'll show you guys later. Some towels here, and this is a dining area. We had some lunch here earlier. Then here we have another room. I love how they decorated this house. So many different pops of colors, it's so fun. I'm obsessed with this. I love the little hand chair, it's so cute. Another bathroom here. And then there's a hallway with laundry. And then here is my room. Honestly, I'm sharing with Gabby because we don't wanna sleep alone. It's super blue and cool. We have a little sofa area here and then closet space on both sides and then when you get through here we have our bathroom i have our toiletries and stuff and then here there's a gym this is the other part of the backyard which is really cool it has like a little gym and a like canopy bed and then i also love the wallpaper in the bathroom it's so funky and then there's the shower I am gonna get some sun and get some color in me because I need it. So I will vlog later when I'm getting ready for this dinner that we're going to later. Sabrina's here. End of that. Good night, vloggy vlog. We just wanted Good to say night, good night. Good night, vlog. We're all very tired. I'm so fing tired. And we have a big day tomorrow, so. Lana Del Rey. And Young Miko, I'm so excited. We love you, Lana. And young Miko. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Um, we will talk tomorrow, but I wanted to check in. We just ordered food. Honestly, we didn't do much. And I put all my liquid IVs there. Because stay hydrated in the desert. But I'm in my PJs, and we're going to go to bed. Bye. Good morning. Happy Coachella. Day one. I'm getting my electrolytes in today. I have to go pick up some things at will call and then we're gonna come back and get ready for the day so but i just wanted to say good morning it's a beautiful day the weather's so good and lana's performing tonight i'm cooking breakfast right now we got some bacon sausages i'm gonna make some hash browns in a little bit and i already made eggs we're dressed, we're ready to go. Give us an OTD, Gabby. OTD, OTD. Um, boots we got from Amanda. Top is tank air. Skirt is I'm sold, people. I need to get that tank top. It's so comfy, I love it. Free people, I mean, free people, tank air. I don't know where the belt is from. Also, it's Anthropology, Amanda. Ray. Anthropology. Ray from Revolve. Amanda's closet. Urban glasses. Okay, okay. my top is from Lioness, my skirt is Daniel Guizio. The belt I got yes. off of Vol, and, and the wait. boots are wait. <laughs> Let's show us, show us the boots one more time, one more time, one more time for the boots. Steve Madden, sorry yes. about that, sorry about that. Yes. Um, and then this is Anthropology. this is Petite Moments. This was a gift, this is my vintage watch from that I got in Tokyo yes. at our Tokyo Bestie birthday Extravaganza. <laughs> Extravaganza. I'm so f***ing excited to see Young Miko, we're going to the 818 party. And we're gonna take you with us. Um, my hair needs volume and it's so oily. I just want chat to know. Chat? Chat, chat my hair is oily. Chat, is this real? 
Yeah, so this is my little trick for a little volume when you have some brushes okay. you're setting in. Mm -hmm. And my backpack doesn't go with my outfit, but this is my Coachella backpack, and I take everything in here, and it's filled to the brim. Oh, we look so cute today. Oi. Giving us everything and more. We do look kind of coordinated. Yeah, we're, we got a little, we just like, got a little blue going on. A blue going on. Lana Del fucking Ray. Lana Del Ray. Let's get this. I will be a Sunday. All right, child, let's go. <gasps> Here we are in Coachella traffic. Yep. There's so much dust. It's really gross. We made it to the 818 outpost. It is shot o'clock. Yes. Guys, we ran into Ken. Look at her little bows, how cute. You're so cute. We saw Sabrina and now we're headed to go see Bisarab. We missed young Miko because of traffic and I'll never forgive myself, but it's okay. I think we ascended at Lana. I just need to um, sit down. Our backs really hurt, chat. All right, guys, post Coachella. Oh my God. How do we feel about night one, guys? I feel great. I feel great. That was incredible. Yeah. And I fucking died and came back to life. I think everyone ascended at Lana. I Dollar. feel incredible, except my back really, really does hurt. The back pain today is really crazy, and I'm really happy I brought that muscle rub because that's going to be great for yeah, today. Yeah, it, it's. A lot worse than it's been in past years. However, my feet don't hurt, it's just my back. Weirdly, it's just my back it's as well. My it's back. not my feet. It's so weird. Like, I don't know why. And um, we're at In and Out. We're about to eat. Guys, we got here right before they closed. We got so lucky. Gabby, how do you feel tonight? First Coachella, first day, how do you feel? This is a very intense first day. I have to say, look. I'm really happy about Lana Del Rey. I'm, I, I have yeah, the Lana best time. Yeah, Lana was great. I feel like we were just on another We another were just level. on another level. We had so much energy at that point because we were just like so hyped with oh, the music, like, you know, gets you moving. Lana was more emotional. Like, I was more in my feels. Same with Sabrina Carpenter. Peggy Goo was so fun. She's a really Peggy. cool DJ. Was, She's Peggy amazing. Was no the a DJ. Sean, pass me a double double. I'm just gonna eat it here. Yay. Really? Guys. I'm so excited. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Shooting stars on my teeth. Nike's on my feet. Make my sign for good. Mm. Cheers. This is amazing. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
evening. It's day two. I woke up at 11. We got home pretty late last night, I'm not gonna lie. We're not getting to the festival too early today just because the acts that we wanna see isn't until later in the evening. So we are laying out right now. I put my swimsuit on. I made a little iced coffee and Gabby and Sab and I are just outside taking in the sun. Hello. Hi. Guys, last night was really fun. Festival sucked the life out of you. Sab's over there. You look so relaxed and cute. I'm putting SPF on. I use the summer Fridays. And then I got this Sol de Janeiro Real Radiance and I've really been liking it. So I'm gonna put this on because the UV is really high. But I do want to tan for today. Guys, there's a hummingbird that keeps hanging out in this bush. And it is the cutest thing, look at it. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's up there. Look at him. He just comes and hangs out. It's time to get ready. I ordered a breakfast sandwich. First bite, let's try it. This is so good. I feel for something like Coachella, you just need to eat a lot of carbs, that's the only way. Okay, it's time to get ready. I am using my Summer Fridays SPF to start the skin off. I already put the Clarence Double Serum and my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. But as you know, the sun is really crazy here, so gonna make sure that we're protecting the skin guys last night was so much fun well yesterday pretty much but oh my god we got home at three in the morning as you guys saw i vlogged a little bit with my phone at the festival but my bag can only fit so much so basically these are the artists that i saw yesterday i'm super bummed because i missed young miko i always do this every year where the drive to get into the festival is so crazy and there's so much traffic that we left with enough time to make it and we still didn't make it and we were in traffic for an hour literally right outside the parking lot of the festival so that was really frustrating because that was like the one artist i really wanted to see this weekend and i missed her so i'm very bummed about it hopefully i'm able to see her maybe in concert at some point but they did play one of her songs at Visa Rap set and that was really awesome. We made it just in time for Sabrina Carpenter's set. So we saw Sabrina and it was really awesome. I loved her entire set. It was really, really beautifully done. Then we went to Visa Rap and Visa Rap set. To explain the way that Coachella works, there's different stages. I was at main stage, which was where all the like headliners and like perform and stuff. I'm so lucky that we're able to go through the back and take golf carts to get to the stages. They were like, it's gonna be a 30 minute wait for a golf cart, but it was either that or trek through the whole festival to get to the opposite side. And I was like, Gabby, let's play our luck right now and let's just wait for a golf cart. Luckily, we were able to get one. So we made it to Bisarap like right on time. Like the set had already started, but we, we made it. He brought out Shakira, which was really awesome because I don't think I've ever seen Shakira perform live. I, not that I remember. So it was really awesome. And then right after Bizarra, Peggy Goo took over that stage at Sahara. And oh my God, I had never been to the Sahara tent. Guys, why was that so lit? The main stage is also really awesome, but like there's something about the energy at the Sahara stage that is like really fun. So we did that and then, oh my God. And during Bizarrap, they put me on the Coachella live stream <laughs> and I was singing my little heart out. I had the best time. After Peggy Goo, we ran. I kind of wanted to see a little bit of Peso Pluma's set, but there was no golf carts to make it back. Um, so we had to run through the festival. Me and Gabby running through the back doors. Like it was like, I felt like if you've read the book Carvel, I literally felt like I was playing the game of Carvel. It's just a trek because I had to go through GA, then through VIP to get to the artist compound to like make it to the stage and see but it was so much fun and gabby and i had a blast we did make it enough in time to see peso pluma and arcangel everyone wanted to go to suki waterhouse i also wanted to go to suki waterhouse but we weren't gonna make it in time to secure a good spot for lana del rey so we just hung out with some friends until lana came on and then lana brought out billy which was really awesome and i felt like i literally ascended it was magical and the mic was on so it was super cool to see it live, you know? I'm gonna really bronze my face today. I'm using my Milk Makeup Stick in Caramel. This is a scented to foundation. It just lays so seamlessly and blends so well. Guys, I don't even know. My feet didn't even hurt that bad because I've been wearing really comfortable shoes. I'm literally wearing sneakers today to the festival. The back pain, no one talks about the back pain. Everyone, like even Sab, 
we were literally we felt like we were gonna collapse we barely made it to the car and then the second i sat i think since like obviously you're at a festival you have some adrenaline going on because you're just running around and stuff you don't realize like how tired your body is until you sit down the second we got in the car i turned on like the seat heater so the heat kind of helped like alleviate and then we made it to in and out right before it closed and we got so lucky that they were able to serve us the food we had gotten invited to a bunch of parties but i don't know like for me I go to Coachella more for the festival than for the parties. I think a lot of people feel differently about that. But I genuinely think that after a day of running in the heat in a festival like that, I don't have it in me to go to a party. Like, I'm so tired. Unless I'm going for a check. Like, if I'm going for my for my bag, then I'm going to go get paid and leave. Like, I went to this nylon party last year because I had a brand deal with Mugler. And I was promoting a fragrance there and it was really awesome. But that's the only way you'll get me to go to one of these, like, Indio parties. It's, like, really crazy. Also, guys... I didn't even put primer on yesterday. I used this. My makeup did not move. My makeup was still on and fresh the whole day. So I really like that setting spray. I don't know where my blush is. I genuinely don't know. And I've been using like the remaining remainder of the blush here from Fenty. There's still so much payoff. I don't know where my Fenty blush is and I love the blush. I just don't know where it is. So I'm using my Givenchy powder and a powder puff. This is the first year I'm really committing to a Coachella vlog. For me, this Coachella is pretty much like a sober Coachella. Like I'm having a few drinks here and there. Obviously, I'm driving, so I have to be responsible. I did Coachella completely sober last year too because I like to have a drink every once in a while. But last year, I just felt like my immune system was not where it needed to be. I wasn't sick. But I knew that if I drank, I would get sick and I would be out for the weekend. So I just didn't drink at all. But this year, my max is two drinks at the festival because I need to feel in control because obviously I'm driving and you do not want to drink and drive ever. That's like the worst thing you can do. Abby's with me. Hi, Chad. I don't know what Sab is doing in the house. Like, Sab is somewhere. Chat, where is Sab? I hope no one bullies you for how much we say chat. Oh my god, yeah. Let's do the chat count. <laughs> chat count. What are your makeup vibes today? I don't even know what I'm doing. Guys, I'm, I'm so just... fried. Like, I can't even click. <sighs> I this is it. Out. I don't even know. You want me to do your makeup? Yeah, that's why you came over here. I know you. <laughs> okay, I put that same bronzer on my crease just a little bit. Nothing crazy. I'm taking this Rare Beauty eyeliner in, in Compassion. That's the shade. I love putting a burgundy on my waterline. I don't know. It just makes my eye pop. And then I just kind of blend it. Okay, that's what it looks like. This is like my vibe for today, like eye-wise. And then I grab this like shadow stick. It's just like some cute shimmer. You grab any brush and just kind of diffuse. Make it a little bit messy and like not too precise it's just it's supposed to be like you know i'm going to take this blush this is party from tarte and i'm gonna put that on my cheeks i'm gonna put some on my nose and now i'm just gonna take this powder brush and just just blend everything out <laughs> I think today is a mascara day. I'm not gonna do like fake eyelashes. I could be totally lying right now because I could totally. We're doing waterproof YSL Beauty Lash Clash. I love this mascara so much. Look at how quick. Oh my god. This mas waterproof mascara is very hit or miss because you could really love the original formula and then it could like suck in the waterproof version, but I don't feel that way about this one. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is the mascara. I might do another coat. We'll see. Okay, I'm back and I zoomed you guys in. For lip liner today, it's probably going to be a combo of this. This is Rare Beauty's Gifted Lip Liner. I think it's just the most similar color to the eyeliner. That's what that looks like. I think I'm going to put plum on top. This is what the lip liner kind of looks like. I think I like plum more. And then I'm doing a very neutral nude in the center. I'm thinking maybe, should I do pillow talk or should I do runaway pony? I think runaway pony. This is just more nude beige. I have a freckle here. You can't tell after I put foundation on it. That's my little freckle. And then I go with my beauty blender just a little make it like you know 
I'm taking my shred silver press powder and I'm using my puff and I'm just going to pronounce the high points of my nose. I might do the eyebrow piercing thing again, to be honest. It was so much fun doing that yesterday. And then to lock everything in. Just so you know, once you spray this on, good luck taking your makeup off. Guys, I heard a knock at the door and I freaked out because I was like, who the hell is at my door? And then I forgot Red Bull uh, was sending me a care package. They gave us a bottle of Don Julio and then these bandanas, which we will need to like cover our face because it's so dusty. Oh my God, they sent Red Bull. We're gonna need it today. They launched a new flavor. This is not sponsored, but they were giving this out at Will Call at Coachella when we went to like go pick up our bands. I'm gonna put this on the fridge. It's drama, bro. Guys, there's a lizard <laughs> and like, I'm so not okay. Sab, oh my God. Oh, no. Sab, it's running. It's running away, grab it. I'm trying. Ah. <laughs> Hi, where'd you go? I do not like lizards. Is this a TV? It's a TV. But you could actually re like take it off wow. the hook. I can? Yeah. It's on the TV somewhere. Okay, well let me know when he's back. <gasps> no. He's nice. He's not gonna hurt you. Hello. I pit stop at the Noriegas and we're gonna hang out with Parker for a little bit before the festival because no one that we wanna see is on until a lot later. This has been so stressful. Me and Sab were like, um, we're parking. This was much smoother than yesterday. I will say yeah, it was it an is. improvement. Yeah. Like, wow. I'm much so smoother. happy. Much smoother. We're in the right place. Like, now I know how to get here. Guys, chat, I've been stressing about this all year, but we made it. We made Day it. Day two! And the sun's still out. Sun's still out. I we're was worried we'd be in traffic for an hour. Guys, I'm we got so the cheat code because the other road is with the one that was congested because we went the other way. Dude, I'm saying. Yeah. So what we So can I get a kiss, sugar? And can you make it last forever? I said I'm about to go to war. Say what? I don't know if I'm gonna see you again. I said, can I get a kiss, sugar? And can you make it last forever? I said I'm about to go to war. Guys, we made it to Neon Carnival. What was the track? Yeah, why did they wanna hug us? That's weird. If you're a man and I don't know you, why are you coming up to me and trying to hug me? Chad, are you having fun at Neon? I'm having so much fun at Neon. The taco is crazy. All right, Chad, all right, Chad, let's go. <laughs> oh. Hi, guys. I'm gonna go have some liquid ID and lay out in the sun and then we'll talk. But good morning. Guys, Kopari just dropped off some sunscreen. I've been seeing, especially this one, all over TikTok, so I'm really excited to use it today. And Gabby is so sad, guys, that Sab is leaving. My besties literally met and hung out all weekend. This is like the best. No, it was awesome. Yeah. All right, Coachella day three, OOTDs. Here we are. My top is Skims. I'm wearing the Baggy Dad jeans from Levi's. I'm wearing Solomon's. This belt is Urban Outfitters. These earrings are from Amazon. These cuffs are Martha Calvo. I love that. Thank I you. I love the jewelry today. Yes. I was gonna wear this, but I really wanted to go with this vibe. I have another matching Cuba shirt, but I, didn't I don't wear. know where it's from. Where's it from? It's from Block Cuts on TikTok. They're awesome. Yes. And then these jeans. I'm actually wearing like everything I'm wearing is Amanda's today, except my glasses. Because these boots are hers. The jeans are hers from IMGA. Yeah, the IMGA jeans are my favorite fit of jeans ever. Yeah, I love her. She lets me borrow all her cute stuff. I want to show, show the glasses. It, it adds but when it gets everything. cold, I have this jacket. It's from Source Unknown, and I have my Prada sunglasses for the sun and when we're just parting. So, happy Sunday! I'm in VIP right now. Gabby and I just got to the festival. We ordered food from two different places. So, I got from Mireria San Marcos, and she got veggie sliders somewhere. Yum. And then we're gonna go see Renee Rapp. Okay, I got my tacos. Yeah, we got her sliders and tater tots, and we got waters. Stay hydrated. Okay, let's try the tacos.
And we're back again. And we're back at in and out. We're back at in and out. Uh, oh, this is so good. I'm so happy we I left already. Yeah. So we're actually driving home tonight. We decided it to be the morning rush. I did this last year and I got home and I was able to like sleep in and not stress. Today was a chill day. Mm. We're at Brandy. It's the day after Coachella. We drove back at 2 a.m. yesterday. I just want you all to know. And we're having, we're having pizza with Sabubu. Hello guys, we are post Coachella weekend and we are going to the gym. I need to go do Pilates and do something with my body. <laughs> Honestly, I did not just stay in bed all day yesterday, which I am very proud of. I went to the Grove with Sav and Gabby. I didn't even finish my story yesterday. But basically to close out this vlog because Jesus Christ, I really should. We ended up getting back Sunday night at like 2.30 in the morning. I always do this every Coachella, right after the festival ends, I go to wherever I'm staying, take my things and just drive home. It took an hour and 40 minutes, which is so good considering how far the drive is and there was no traffic. But yeah, Coachella was amazing. I have to say this is the first year where post Coachella, like I'm like, wow, that was amazing. And I hope you want to go to weekend too because I had that much of a great time, which is probably not going to happen just because my schedule's a little crazy. but. This was the best Coachella yet and I loved it because I genuinely just spent time with people I loved and enjoyed the music and it was the best one yet and it's my fourth one. I've had great years obviously, Coachella is really fun but sometimes it's a little crazy. This time we really did it right. My favorite performances of Coachella were Tyler the Creator, Renee Rapp, Lana Del Rey, especially when she brought out Billy and J Balvin. J Balvin was amazing. Oh, oh my God. And the one I had the most fun at, I have to say, was Bisa Rap, just because me and Gabby were literally jumping, dancing, just running around the Sahara tent. But yeah, my, my brain is a little frazzled. Sorry, I didn't say that in the order that it should have been. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the Coachella vlog. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't joined the family already. I love you all very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.